Hi, I'm Rashi and I'm the founder at Nutrition in Sync, where we specialize in health concerns like PCOS, endometriosis, gut health, weight loss, and even diabetes. Today I'm here to tell you why your gut is so important and how it affects you not just physically, but mentally and emotionally too. Now there are so many different reasons, but here are my six favorite ones that make your gut health your number one priority. Firstly, it's the largest immune organ in the body. 80% of your immune system lies in your gut. Second, it's like your second brain. It has its own enteric nervous system and it's the only organ that can function almost independently. Third, for all of you who care about weight loss, right? Your gut secretes appetite and satiety hormones. So if your gut is okay and it's secreting these hormones, you won't be thinking and craving food all the time. Fourthly, it influences hormonal health and all of you who buy these expensive supplements, if your gut is not okay, you won't absorb any of these efficiently because it's one of the most important functions of the gut. Lastly, and the most important one, 90% of the serotonin, which is your happy hormone, is secreted in your gut. This is one reason we have so many people out there who have everything going for them, but they just don't feel happy because sometimes the gut is not supporting them with enough serotonin, so they fail to recognize the daily abundant joy in life. That's just so sad, right? Now, here's an interesting fact. When you hear the word gut, you automatically start to think about your stomach. But the gut or your gut lining actually starts from your nostrils and goes all the way up inside up to the anus. That's how long it is. And if you really want to picture it, then it would actually cover an entire tennis court if I laid it out flat. Here's the thing. Here's how thin it is, you know. If I take one strand of my hair and I cut it into half, that's the thickness of our gut lining. Now this thin line not only protects us from the outside world, but also helps us absorb everything that we eat with the help of these tiny bristles called villi. Now imagine a new rug that you've just bought. It has these tight fibers which stick together through tight stitches, right? The same way your gut has these tiny villi that stick together with a protein molecule called zonulin. Now when these stitches in your carpet are nice and tight, the carpet will protect the floor down from getting dirty, right? The same way, when the amount of zonulin is just right, the villi of your gut are held together properly, so the toxins don't enter the bloodstream. Now, there's so much research out there that tells us when we eat inflammatory foods, things like gluten and dairy and sugar, sometimes even lentils, they trigger your gut and it increases the production of this zonulin protein molecule. And then when there are these elevated levels, they basically cause a whole lot of havoc. Because the tight junction now loosens up and then opens up the junction because of the excess zonulin. Now because of this, the nutrients, instead of being absorbed, are now released in the bloodstream without absorption. Or in fact, toxins are also released in the bloodstream. And this is what we call a leaky gut, which obviously you know now leads to a number of gut issues like bloating, belching, gas, burping, heartburn, acidity, IBS, GERD, and so many other things. If you leave all of these things untreated thinking it's normal, it then leads to bigger problems like acne, PCOS, autoimmune conditions, etc. as well. Now, the solution is easier than you know, you know. We've come up with a very simple ease protocol for anyone who's looking to heal their gut. E stands for elimination of all of these inflammatory foods that trigger your gut and cause inflammation. You can get an intolerance test done, but uh, not only is it expensive, it can also be misleading and a lot of times highly inaccurate. The first step and the most promising one to a healthy gut is to basically eliminate all the foods which are difficult to digest. Doing an elimination diet is gold standard, guys. When you eat clean consistently, your gut inflammation reduces, those villi that I spoke about in the gut, they get a chance to recover and they get stronger. Then comes A. Now A stands for adding a whole lot of anti-inflammatory foods that can actually help reduce this excess zonulin and this keeps the villi intact. Eating food that's easy on your gut, nutritious, wholesome, anti-inflammatory will actually help heal the gut cells resulting in stronger cell junctions reducing that, that gut permeability for toxins and those harmful microbes. Now these foods would also keep the villi healthy which improve nutrient absorption. Starting your day with a teaspoon of ghee, coconut oil, coconut chunks, coconut meat, overnight soaked oats, even having things like white rice and bananas are very helpful. Now comes the S. This is so important guys because S stands for support. Now there's a strong link between the gut 
and the brain through this dense vagus nerve and so many other connections which make the gut very receptive to emotional health. Tweaking your lifestyle and adding habits that will actually help you emotionally cleanse can dramatically help with your gut health. You can support your mental health through habits like morning rituals, water memory, deep breathing, whole lot of mindfulness rituals, sometimes even things like taking therapy can help a lot. Finally, E. Now E stands for the enrich phase. Here is where you're going to add back all your trigger foods gradually to see how you respond to them because your health honestly depends on the health of your microbiome, which depends upon their diversity. Your microbiome or your gut bugs, they thrive when you eat different kinds of foods and different types of foods. So bringing those foods back again is very important. This ease protocol will help you heal your gut, not just through food, but also through being mindful about your emotions. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful. If you have more questions, post them in the comments below.